Hi all! Today I'll be showing you how to set up a participation grading assignment in Hypothesis, the grading options that you have to calculate the grades, and how the final result looks in the LMS reporting dashboards. We'll also take a look at the option to sync grades back to your LMS gradebook. First, I'll make a new assignment in Canvas. I'm starting at the Hypothesis assignment creation window, and I'm selecting a PDF stored in Canvas files. It's worth noting that auto grading works over all our document selections. I'm going to enable automatic participation grading here. Let's take a look at some of the grading options that we have. The grading type can be all or nothing, or it can be scaled. If it's all or nothing, then you have to get to the minimum number of annotations or replies or both. If you do, you get 100%. If you get anything less than the minimum number, you get a zero. When we scale our grade, we have a goal to hit, but if we don't get all the way to the goal, we'll still get a grade that's proportionate to the amount of work that we did. If we're supposed to make four annotations and we only make three, we'll get a 75%. After we select our grading type, then we'll also select how we want to calculate the annotations and replies. We can calculate them cumulatively, so we get one single number to hit that'll be taken from the combined annotations and replies, or we can calculate them separately. With this assignment, let's say it's going to be all or nothing, and we're going to calculate it separately. I'm going to have a minimum number of two annotations and one reply. Let's go ahead and we'll publish this assignment. At this point, we've given our students time. The assignment due date has come and gone. Students have annotated. Let's go and see the work that they've done. I can see that students have annotations and replies, and that this is present in both of my hypothesis groups. Hopefully my students have all hit the mark. Let's find out. I'm going to go to the account icon up in the top right corner of hypothesis. I'm going to select open dashboard, and it's going to bring me to the assignment view in the reporting dashboard. So as you can see here, my grades have already been calculated. I've got three 100% and two 0%. I'm curious what's happened here with my students. Let's go and look at Dieter. If I hover over his 100%, I can see that he's done five annotations out of the two he needed and one out of one replies. He's got two green check marks getting 100%. Alan did two out of two annotations, but he didn't do any replies, so he's getting a 0%. If I decide that I want to change my grading settings after the fact, or give my students more time to add more annotations, then Hypothesis will recalculate their grades for me. In my last example, I made an assignment from scratch, including grading settings, let students annotate, and then I check the results. At that point, I could have edited the assignment, changed the grading settings, and watched Hypothesis recalculate. In my next example, we're going to take an already made assignment with annotations in it, add grading settings, and see what happens. I'm going to create a scaled, cumulatively calculated assignment. So let's edit this assignment and add some grading settings. So again, we're going to enable automatic participation grading. Let's make this scaled, and we're going to calculate them together. And because we're going to calculate them together, let's just set a rather high goal of five annotations or replies. I'm back to my assignment. My annotations are still here, and now when I open the dashboard and go to the assignment view for this particular assignment, I can see Hypothesis has calculated grades for me based off the work my students have already done. Hovering over Dieter here, I can see that he's done four out of his five annotations and replies. If I look at the assignment data, I can see that's three annotations and one reply, whereas someone like Charlie has done the whole assignment. I want to quickly note that just like the count of annotations and replies in our dashboard being sortable, you can also sort by grade. So let's say I wanted to bring my lower scoring students to the top so I could focus on them, think of an instructional strategy. That's really easy to do here. We also have this filter that looks at the sections or groups in the hypothesis assignment. So if I want to look at the work that course section one has done and then later compare it to the work that course section two has done, I'm able to do that. In the event that you have multiple groups, just like any dashboard filter, I can select multiple groups simultaneously. Now, let's take a look at our grading sync. 
In this next example, we have four students with grades, and in the top right corner, you see that we have an option to sync the grades of all four students. When we click on it, the syncing grades button shows us it's working, and then it also shows us when it's complete. In this other example, we've already synced our grades, but two students have changed their grades since then by annotating. They've got new indicators on them. And when we click on the syncing grades button, we're syncing only those two new grades. In our final example, we still have two students with new grades, but we're going to have an error while syncing. Perhaps our LMS briefly was unable to take in the grades. We could click the button again and successfully sync the grades next time. This has been our introduction to our new participation grading feature. We hope you enjoy it.